Hello, young artists. We have been practicing making straight lines and curvy lines. We have been practicing putting those lines together to make basic shapes, and we've put those lines together, straight and curvy lines, to make all of the uppercase ABCs, all of the alphabet. Today, we're gonna put straight lines and curvy lines together to make a farm. Let's look at a landscape of a farm right now. In this image, you see a lot of land, a little bit of sky, and lots of animals and people who are working on a farm. This is not a drawing or painting. This is an applique. An applique is made with different pieces of fabric that are cut and then sewn together, kind of like a quilt. On this farm, which is in Peru, which is in South America, we have cows, we have horses or donkeys, we have sheep, and up here we have some llamas. We're going to put some buildings and some animals on our farm. So let's get started. Get your pencil ready and your paper. You can turn your paper the tall way or the wide way. I chose to do mine the tall way today. And I'm going to put some basic shapes together to make some animals and some buildings on the farm. I'm gonna start with a farmhouse and I'm going to use straight lines. So I'm going to start up here with a house. I'm gonna make one straight line. I'm gonna go back and make that a little thicker so you can see it better. I like to pick up my marker or my pencil and then start over. That way I don't make my shapes round when I want them to be straight. If I kind of go too fast, I'll end up rounding these corners. So I'm gonna go back to the top and I'm gonna draw a straight line that lays, lays down or goes across. And then I'm gonna connect that and that will make a square or a rectangle. I'm going to guess, where is the middle on this line? It's right about there. So I'm gonna go up a little and make a little dot. And then I'm going to connect that and make a little farmhouse. This is from the side. I'm not gonna even show the door. I will make a window right there. And then I know my house has a little porch with a post. So I'm gonna make that right here. And that's where y'all might stand on the front porch. I'm gonna move my marker up here and I'm gonna make a barn. This shape is a little harder to draw because the roof is different. This is simply a triangle. The roof of a barn is a little different. So I make a square kind of like this. I didn't make it perfect, that's okay. I'm gonna make my mark a little thicker so you can see it better. And I'm going to go up really steep, like a really steep slide. I'm gonna make it the same on the other side. It's just a different angle. And now I'm gonna make a dot in between, but I'm gonna go up just a little. So it's not way up here, it's kinda of low. And then I'm gonna pull that line down to where this line stopped. And that's how you make the roof of a barn. It has a name, it's called a gambrel roof. I'm going to make a rectangle up in the roof. I'm going to put a line down the middle so it looks like a double door. And then I'm going to use a letter of the alphabet. I'm going to put an X in it. This is a traditional way to make a barn door. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom, but I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to make a number 11 right here. It's two straight lines. I'm going to connect that and close that space at the top. I'm going to make it into two rectangles by drawing a line down the middle. And then I will make another set of X's, an X here and an X here. 
I'm going to continue using straight lines and I'm going to make a rectangle that is wider than it is tall, like this. I'm going to make a much smaller rectangle and I'm going to turn it the tall way and I'm going to let it touch this line right here. I'm going to go over, down, and in. And then I'm going to make a curve like the letter U, but I'm going to turn it down on its side. Watch. This way, this way. I bet you can guess what this is going to be. I'm going to make two dots for eyes. And then I'm going to make a rectangle here, 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 and here for legs. A cow's tail is at the very top where its spine is. I'm just going to add a little curve right there. And if you want to give this cow some small horns, you can put them right there. If you want to put spots on it, then you can make a little wiggly line like that, and you can color your cow two colors if you want to. Now I'm going to use some curvy lines, and I'm gonna to go to the bottom so I can make it bigger. I've got lots of room here, and I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to make a number 11 right in the middle of that circle. I bet you can already guess what this might be. I'm going to come to the side like that and make another curve and two more circles. I'm going to put a dot in, inside there and now I'm going to make the ears. I bet you can guess that this is a pig. I want the ear to be curvy but then I want it to come to a point. So I'm going to pick up my marker I'm going to do this on the other side. I'm going to stop and pull my marker away and then come back and pull it down like that. For the body of the pig, I'm going to go over to the side and I'm going to make a big oval shape. We talked about ovals the other day. And then I want to make a loop. I'm going to practice making a loop in the air. I want to practice a little bit. Now I'm going to go to the top right here and make a little loop for the tail. Maybe I'll make another one like that. So I want to make legs down here. I want to make them short and kind of thick. You could do it like this where you make a number 11 and then go across. And I could make another one here. And a pig is a hoofed animal, so you could make a little triangle right there. for its feet. I'm going to make one more animal and I'm going to make something I said we shouldn't do. I said let's not scribble too much, but I'm going to make a scribble on purpose. Watch. Scribbles are fun to make. You can practice making one like this. And over here I'm going to make a scribble. That is a scribble. You can make it any color you want, but practice with your pencil. I'm going to give this scribble some legs like that, just like I did the pig and the cow. And then I'm going to make the head. And this is a little harder to make, so watch closely and practice. I'm going to make a bump for the top of the head. I'm going to make an ear at the side. And then I'm going to come down, kind of like a bicycle seat, and give it two dots. And I've made a little sheep or a lamb. Now on your farm, you might want to add a fence. I might put a fence up here. I'm going to make two straight lines. I'm going to pretend I have x-ray vision and I'm going to go on the other side behind the barn and then I'm going to make some straight up and down marks. This is good practice for young artists. I'm gonna make these marks over and over again. And this is my fence. I have a fence like this behind my house, but I don't have cows or pigs or sheep. I have a dog named Fiona 
and she enjoys being outside, safe inside the fence. If you want to add other animals, here's a challenge for you. Draw another animal, but have it going in the other direction. So I might make a cow, and it's facing this way. Two eyes, and this cow is just going to be one color, no spots. Add the tail on the other end, and you could add a little baby calf. Next to it, like that. You could add lots more sheep. I might have another sheep over here. Remember to make a scribble. I'm gonna add the head and the ears. And this one's gonna have little black legs. So I'll color that in. The eyes are hard to see on that one. So practice putting together your straight lines and curvy lines to make some animals on the farm. And I'll see you next time, young artists.